Welcome to this little autumn vlog. Um, I thought I wanted to just check in here and share with you a few like home updates that we've been doing recently. Um, so autumn is a time where because of the weather it's quite gray and rainy a lot of the time in Denmark. We do have some sunny days too like today's actually kind of nice but we spend a lot of time indoors because of the weather. Um, so I feel like this time of year, I always get so inspired to do some change ups around the house. Um, not that you have to, but if you've been following me for a while, you know that we live in a house from the late sixties and we've been living here for four years now and we're not done with the renovation process. We've basically been renovating everything inside of the house and we still have a few rooms left that we want to kind of go over. We have the entire outdoor area that we're still going through as well, which hopefully will soon be done with. I'm definitely hoping that this coming spring, like in 2024 springtime, will be more or less done with the garden and everything so that we can start using it again. But I thought just as a nice way to do, give you guys a little bit of a home update, I wanted to show you some of the things that we've been doing lately and tell you a little bit about some of the plants that we have for the house as well. So let's go. <music>
So this is the living room and we currently have uh, the washing over there. So apologies about that. I'll have to deal with that later today. Um, but otherwise, this is the living room and this is actually uh, one of the places that we've been doing some changes lately because we used to have just a small sofa over here and then an armchair. So this was more like a cozy setup for when we had guests. It wasn't like pointed towards a TV or anything. It was just a nice little like coffee area. Um, but we've actually moved our TV lounge or TV area up here from down there, which is currently a mess. So we used to have our TV like lounge down here. We had like a big gray couch over there and then we had the TV on this wall. So plan of action is to actually turn this entire space into a lovely home office. So I'm hoping that we can build like some building desk with some shelves, shelving units and some like storage space that looks nice. And then on the opposite side here, we're gonna have some of our like training gear and our like instruments and stuff. And I don't know yet what we're gonna do about that. I really wanna make it, oh, sorry, the sun is like glaring through now. I really wanna make some kind of a, I don't know, possibility of, of hiding it away a little bit. So I might need to, have a look at Pinterest if we can hide away stuff like our, you know, weights for home workouts and stuff because they just don't really look that nice to have out in the open. So yeah, this is a, a work in process with this room. Um, and then up here we have our new couch, which is a new couch that we found on Facebook Marketplace. So it's a pre-loved couch. It was only a couple of years old. Um, we actually sold our old couch as well on a, uh, not ASOS, <laughs> Facebook Marketplace. Um, and I find that to be a really great place for, oh, you know, pre-loved home decor. Generally, we've bought a lot of things in there through the years. Um, this rock was actually found on Facebook Marketplace as well. And as you can see, it's dark blue. So a little bit of color, which I know that dark blue is considered a neutral, but we have a little bit of color there, which I really like. Uh, we've moved the pictures a little bit to the side there as well. Um, and I think we are going to get like some lamps in this corner of some sort because it can get kind of dark here. Um, in time, we really want to have like a ceiling light window because this uh, corner of the living room can get quite dark. Like it's not too bad right now because it, it's quite sunny today, but sometimes it gets really dark up here. So in time, that's definitely something we're hoping to do. So yeah, really, really happy about this little sofa area. It took some time to get used to um, because we were actually quite happy with our TV lounge down there, but we have some plans for the house in which we had to kind of rethink the different areas, like the different, especially the living room area, because we need that space down there for something else because we're gonna use the old office for something completely else as well. So yeah, and then now that we got rid of the armchair over here as well, we can have our swing out in the open. And it's a very, very popular thing, not only with our daughter, but also when we have other kids coming to visit us, it's just like they're just playing on that swing all the time. So we're really happy about that. Um, we just had a couple of days where our girl was sick as well and she actually napped in the swing because then you can kind of like, give it a little bit of movement, which can be really calming, especially if you're not feeling well. So we're just like, yeah, it's nice to have a swing in your house. Um, then in our kitchen, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen last year that we painted this wall green. And uh, we actually used to have that back wall down there blue, but we painted that white again because we wanted these units here for more storage uh, space. So these are just like Ikea units. Um, so, uh, yeah, we wanted those for more space. And then this is actually kind of like a, a very functional area because you can have a seat here, but then there's storage space underneath as well, which is quite nice. Hi, Oscar. <laughs> He's just drinking water. Um, but yeah, then we decided to paint this wall here green, which, yeah, it looks really nice. It's painted with this like a uh, chalk paint almost. So that's why it looks a little bit like splotchy. It's actually meant to look like that. Um, I think it looks quite cool. I'm still contemplating maybe painting that wall the same color as well. I'm not completely sure, but I really love these dusty, soft colors. That's really what we 
you know, that's what we like um, in our house. Like, kind of, kind of the same <laughs> with my wardrobe. These are the colors that I'm drawn to. Is that a Hi. He's doing really well, by the way. He just had um, surgery in his eye. Um, he went through a similar surgery last year, but he's doing so much better. Then we have our hallway, which you saw in a recent wardrobe tour video, so I'm not gonna talk a lot about that here. I will link it up here so you can have a look at that if you want a closer look at our like, wardrobe in there and what we have out here. I think that's a little bit better. So yeah, this is our brat room. We recently painted this wall. This wall used to be dark gray. Uh, but we painted it dark blue. Um, and then we recently put up these, um, what's it called, like a coat rack. We have one here on my side and then we have one on my husband's side as well. You can see he uses it a little bit more than I do <laughs> for all of his clothing. So I use it to hang up my um, dressing gown and then my pajamas there. Really sorry about the lighting guys, it's because it's sunny so it's a little bit tricky. Um, but yeah, then we have a light or like a lamp over here. This is from a brand called Nolux, which I believe is Danish. Um, and we have one of those like Philips Hue uh, bulbs in there so that we can turn down the lighting and we can make our own little settings to make the lighting really like cozy and warm. And then we have a plant here. And then obviously my wardrobe, which again, if you want a tour, I'll make sure to link a video here, which I recently did. We have a little rug, which actually used to be in our daughter's bedroom, but I put a new one in there and then I put this one here, which I think looks really cute. Like when we were done painting, we were like, something's missing in here. And I think the rug did the trick. So it looks really nice and calming in here, I think. Um, and then just going down the hallway again, we have my daughter's bedroom in here with our homemade dollhouse. So the dollhouse is homemade and then all of the toys or the interiors and the dolls and everything are from a brand called Tenderleaf. It's just super cute and I knew I wanted something wooden to go along with the wooden dollhouse. Um, yeah, it's just really, really cute and we love spending time in here. And then if we look into the guest room, you can see that's quite messy too. We have furniture everywhere. And it's because we've actually emptied our, what used to be our old office. So that's what you see in here. And you can see we've already started the renovation process. So yeah, this used to be our, our home office, which obviously is a nice, it's a nice room. Um, and actually the size of this is exactly the same on the other side, um, the, the old TV lounge that I just showed you before. The plan of action for this room is actually to turn it into a kids playroom, kind of like a creative room where we can have toys and we can have things so that we can make like at home gymnastics. We're gonna build like a bed here with a slide and some stairs and then we're gonna have a little bit of a, a setting up here where she can read books or watch movies with some like fairy lights and stuff. And then underneath, we're actually getting a bed from my sister who is going, who's moving soon. Um, and they had a spare bed for her boy, which is one of those beds where it has like storage underneath, like it has drawers, but then you can also pull it out so that it becomes like a, a queen size bed so that if we have people coming over, we actually have like a spare guest bed that people can sleep in. So it's gonna be combined guest room and kids like playroom. So yeah, that's what we're gonna have over here. And then this corner, I'm thinking we're gonna have like a little table with some chairs. And then this can be like the creative space where we can like draw. Maybe we'll have like some shelves here with books and stuff. Um, and then over here is gonna be like a gymnastics play area. Um, but I think it's gonna be really nice to have a place where we can like just chuck all of the toys and have some playtime activity. And then during summertime, we can open up the door and we can go into the garden. Um, I think that's gonna be really nice. So that is, so obviously I'm really grateful for living in this house in the first place. And I'm so grateful for all of the space that we have. Like it is, it's not the smallest house on the planet at all. Um, but the children's rooms are quite, quite 
small and dainty actually it's kind of hard for us to really get the most of the space in those rooms like i think we're gonna struggle even finding like a bigger bed for her when she gets bigger because th that room is just not the biggest room and um, so that's kind of why we wanted to create like a separate kids playroom activity room just so that we have somewhere where we can do sorts of all sorts of like kids stuff um and now that we have that extra room, I just think it makes a lot of sense. Like actually the, the living room here behind me that we've turned into the current uh, TV lounge, we often felt like it was like just a space that we just had, but we never really used it that much. Um, so I feel like now we're gonna utilize all the space in our house a little bit better. And I think it's gonna be really nice with that home office, um, especially from where I'm sitting now. If we built that desk built-in thing, um, the plan is actually to paint it in the same color as we have on the wall so that it becomes more integrated um, And I'm gonna style like the shelves and of course a lot of it's got just gonna be like storage space for like office folders and boring stuff um, So those are gonna be hidden away, but then on some some of the shelves I'm gonna put some plants and some nice pictures and some little I don't know sculpture things so that it actually looks nice when you're standing in the living room and you look down there it actually looks nice and cozy at the same time so modern actually just came home with these two color swatch um, booklets uh, this is actually the brand that we have been using a lot lately for a lot of like the colors in our house and we really love this uh, they have some really beautiful colors um, i just wanted to quickly show you kind of like what I had in mind for the kids room down there because I really want it to be colorful but not like overly rainbow colorful necessarily I think I probably want to stick to those kind of like soft colors um so I think maybe oh, these are all just so pretty um but I really love these colors um but I also really love the green ones that we have here these neutrals over here are quite nice. I actually kind of like these as well. Um, decisions, decisions. These are really pretty too. I really love these kind of like minty green colors. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit of a, a home life update from for me to you guys. Um, I kind of just wanted to put together a nice little autumnal Hugo kind of vlog to show you what we've been up to lately. Um, I know a lot of you enjoy these lifestyle vlogs from time to time. Yeah, we're approaching November. Um, I have, you know, my business is busy until uh, early December. Then I'm gonna take a good long break from uh, working with clients. Uh, hopefully finish up some of these home projects that we've got going on. Um, I'll still be active here on YouTube and on my Instagram, but I'm gonna close down my business and some of the other things that I'm doing, my color consultations, my wardrobe reviews and stuff. I'm gonna take a, a good long break from that and then focus on some other things during December, which is gonna be really nice. I cannot wait for Christmas. Like I know it's premature, but I feel like the older I get, um, and I, or also after like getting our daughter, I'm just, I've turned into this like Christmas monster. Like I, if it were up to me, I would like be decorating the house already now, which I know is way too early. <laughs> um, so I think we've agreed on like mid November and I might make a little vlog, like a little Christmas week, Christmassy vlog for that as well. I'm not completely sure if I'm gonna be doing Vlogmas this year because I feel like can get a little bit hectic sometimes, but I will definitely make some like cozy Christmas content of some sort. Uh, definitely make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well. I've been making a lot of like outfit chats and daily outfits on TikTok lately and I might do a little bit of a mini vlogmas over there, perhaps, I'm not sure yet. Um, so I'll leave all of that linked down below if, in case you wanna like follow me um, on some of my other platforms. But yeah, that was just a little bit of an update from me. Um, I hope you're all doing well and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching either way. Um, I truly appreciate it. Um, I appreciate every single one of you commenting, watching, engaging with my content. It means everything to me. So thank you so much for all of your support and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye guys.